right, hi everybody. This is Sherry with Mother and Daughter Stamping. Um, today I'm going to show you two techniques. I showed this card earlier, oh, about a couple weeks ago, and promised to do a video on the techniques. So today we're going to do these two cards. This one is the watercolor, and this one is with sponging. So I guess we'll get started with the watercolor one first. And it's, we're also going to use the acrylic block and markers. The markers that I chose to use is Hair Pizzazz, Calypso Coral, So Saffron, and Soft Sky. Now we're going to need an acrylic block, and I have already pre cut. Uh, for a post-it note. Um, I'll have to look that up and get back to you with that later. This is out of watercolor paper. Alright, basically it's a real simple technique and it's really quite fast and easy. You just take your marker and you directly color on to your block. We got four colors, so you're going to use about a fourth of it, and then go to your next one and just color on. And now we're doing the so saffron and end up with a soft sky. Okay, now what we're going to do is just take a bottle of water. Squirt your watercolor paper, get a little bit wet, and a little bit. Now, watercolor, you never know what you're going to get. You never get up with the same thing twice. Sometimes, I don't know, if you like control, this might not be the technique for you because it's hit and miss. Now, if you don't get a lot of water on that, sometimes it comes up kind of dry, which I think this one did, but if you like that look, then don't put quite so much water on it. Uh, if you put too much, it can run a little bit, and depend on the colors you have and what you end up with. You can end up with kind of a brown that's not so pretty. Okay, that's what we got this time. You let that dry and then you can stamp your main image on it. So, like I said, it never turns out the same twice, but it's a very easy, interesting background. It's quick, fast, so give it a try. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the second technique, which is just your basic sponging. All right, with this one, I've got a paper that I have already cut. We have your white, your whisper white for your base card. And then you have your, your black piece, which will serve as a frame. And then the white piece is going to go over it. And I will give all the dimensions on our website so you can get those. Now, to start this off, we're going to use a temporary tape. Or you can use the other tape and just rub on it so it doesn't stick too bad. We just want to keep it in place while we're doing the sponging. So just kind of center that on your cardstock. Okay, let's start out with pear pizzazz. You just get your ink on your sponge. And just start sponging on the bottom fourth. Going all the way across, start sponging on your scrap paper first, even if it takes more time so you don't get these splotches. Okay, now the next color I'm going to do is the So Saffron. So 
So you just take your sponge again, sponge off, sponge on. <laughs> And probably bring this up about halfway. Now a good way to get the two colors to blend is take your lighter color, in this case I think it would be your more so saffron, and go over just a little bit where that two colors come together. Kind of blend it in, it just makes a smoother transition from one color to the other instead of one like a line. Okay, now the next color we're going to use is Calypso Coral. And this is definitely a little bit darker, I believe. So I would sponge first on your scrap paper and then go on your, lightly go on your paper. Because like I said, it's easier, well, you can't take it off. You can start over, <laughs> but you can always come back and add some to it if it's not dark enough for you. So saffron is your lighter color, so I would just go back and blend it in. My paper seems to want to come loose, so I'm holding it down. What we're going to use will be the Soft Sky, which is a very pretty um, kind of a light gray blue, or it's very close to um, a pool party, only lighter shade. But still, I would sponge off because you don't know exactly how dark it's going to show up. Purple going on. Okay, there you go. Then all you have to do is you stamp your image on here, Serene Silhouettes, and I'm going to use this stamp right here. And there you go. Now you take it, put it back on here, and that's the technique. Real easy. The supplies that I used and uh, the sizes, just please go to our web or our uh, blog, motherdaughterstampin.com, and I'll give you all the dimensions. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time. Bye.